Hello everyone, welcome to this video tutorial. In this video, we are going to repeat the previous simulation controlling the inrush current of the DC motor using the status block instead of this hysteresis one and compare the results. So let's copy and paste the design save the project and we should add these new components to the design so how we can specify the status of the switch using the status blocks here you can see the details in the getting started guide yes it's based on Petri net theory and you can add the transition status and equation blocks to determine the status of the switch. So here we have these components in basic elements status. Here you can see the state one and one or state 11 okay so i pick up this one and we can rotate it we need two so let's copy and paste one state block for making the switch on and another one to make the switch off and we need two transitions, yes, to change the status of the switch. So here we have the transition. I place one transition here and another one here. So let's rotate the second one and make the connections. One connection here another one and yes so here we have these parameters for the state one also let me change the name of the first one that is on right the name of this state is on and the name of this state is off we have these parameters we have the reference value of the current and we have a delta that is the half of the hysteresis band that we specify for the current yes we have an average value here and we have a band this band is two times delta. So I should define these equations to be able to determine the status of the switch. So let's place the FML in its block, one block, and define equations regarding these transitions we have i ref the reference value of current is equal to 20 we have the delta that is 2.5 delta is equal to 2.5 5 we have the upper limit of the hysteresis band that is the i upper the reference value of current plus delta so this is i upr it's equal to i ref plus delta 
and we have the lower value of the current that is i ref minus delta i l w r is equal to i ref minus delta yes so i'm going to show these equations yes we have these equations these uh, variables i ref delta the upper bound and lower bound of the hysteresis band so this is the on state so here i add this set action so this set action its name i should specify a name for example control signal yes we should set the name of that action here the name is control signal based on the number of switches that you have in your circuit and based on your elements you can specify a proper name and we have this variable its value and uh, also we can set its initial state that is on or off and as you know because we are going to run the motor the initial state of the switch should be on so i activate the action and press ok so for off i add uh, the new action its name is control signal yes like the previous one and here as you can see we should set the value of the action that we are defining either we can set the value equal to one or the value equal to zero yes we are going to turn on and turn off this switch so when this action is active its value should be one so it specifies the switch is on and this action when it's active its value should be zero yes so how we can move from the on state to the off state and the reverse direction we should specify conditions here so for this transition we should specify the condition here we can write the equation yes we can write the equation here we have these parameters yes and here you can see the equations that we have for these transitions when the value of the armature current is higher than the i upper right the upper bound of the hysteresis band we should turn off the switch and when the current is lower than the lower limit of the band we should turn on the switch so here we have dcm motor this is parameter ia and i can write when dcm dot ia is higher than or equal to i upper we should turn off what is the error uh, excuse me this is dcm dot ia also you can show the condition this is the condition that we have here and dcm dot ia is lower than or equal to i lwr show the condition we should turn on the switch so we have defined these equations reference value delta and we have defined this action control signal that is on or off 
Now here I can write control signal this variable that we defined and press OK. And we don't need this hysteresis block anymore. And we can run the simulation. So yes, this is a different strategy than the previous one using the hysteresis block. And let's repeat the simulation analyze and check the results so this is the value of current and this is the rotor speed as you can see here the simulation is more precise and always we are within the band unlike the previous one yes so here you can see the explanation of the getting started guide Here, the tolerance band of the state graph controller is more precise than for the hysteresis controller. Yes, because the equal operator type in the state graph forces the simulator to synchronize on the condition with the minimum time step to force any of the block models to calculate more precisely, define a special sample time in the models property dialog box so using the status blocks we can do this simulation that is more precise unlike the previous one that we had this graph interesting yes so anyway in this video i wanted to try the second case and specify the status of the switch using this status blocks and in the next video we will do the next example that is the current and speed controller dc motor so thanks for watching